Hey guys, this is Martin from Mattress Clarity. Um, I got the Pinzen Down Alternative Comfort here, medium weight. Uh, we're gonna take a look at the key features, uh, my experience, whether it's a good fit for you. Before we get started with the review though, if you have any questions or comments, just please leave them in the comments below. Let's get started. All right, let's take a look at the key features and construction here of the Pins and Down Alternative Comforter. First, you're gonna have 100% cotton outer shell. Nice smoothness to it. Definitely softened up for me when I washed and dried it, though. Uh, inside, you're gonna have 100% polyester filling. It's a Prima Loft. It's gonna be designed to fight moisture. It's hypoallergenic. It's really good for you with uh, allergies out there. Um, it's gonna be held in place by a box stitching, sewn through box stitching. Keeps all your filling evenly dispersed, so it doesn't clump up for you. Really nice design there for you as well. For cleaning, they recommend commercial washer and dryer. I would not wash and dry this at home. It's gonna expand in your dryer. It's not gonna be a really good drying experience for you, so I would definitely follow the instructions to the letter, do it commercial dryer. They also recommend using tennis balls in there. It's gonna actually help speed up that drying process as well. Keep your temperature low, you don't wanna scorch this. For my experience, it's medium warmth. It's 60 ounces of filling, which is actually pretty heavy for medium warmth. For me, especially since it's gonna be a down alternative, it's less breathable. I felt a little bit clammy, a little bit on the hotter side. I am a warmer sleeper, so for me, it was a little bit too warm. For your colder sleepers out there, it might actually be a really nice match for you. All right, let's talk about pros and cons here for the pins and down alternative. First, if you are a colder sleeper, you like to have the window open, you're in a colder climate, could be a really nice match for you. It has a really nice warmth to it. In addition, it's hypoallergenic. If you're an allergic sleeper, you get watery eyes, stuffy nose. Uh, it's hypoallergenic filling, really good match for you, I believe, as well. In addition, ease of cleaning, ease of drying. Basically, commercial washer or dryer compared to doing a dry cleaning for a down comforter, it's a lot easier. Um, on the con side, it is a warmer comforter. So if you are a warm sleeper, you're in a warmer climate, you like to have your bedroom a little bit warmer, like for me, a little bit too warm. Uh, in addition, it's not gonna have that kind of cloudy, down, fluffy feel you get with a down comforter. So if you like a, like a kind of a thicker, like cloudier feel, it might not be the best match for you. In addition, uh, when you're looking at price, it's definitely gonna be on the higher end uh, for its type. It's $120 at this moment. Uh, so if you're looking for not much of an investment like this could be, uh, you might wanna shy away from it as well. All right, overall for the Pins and Down Alternative Comforter, if you're a colder sleeper, you struggle with allergies, or you're looking for something really easy to wash and clean, could be a really good match for you. Um, if you're a warmer sleeper like me, or you want something cloudier, kind of fluffier, uh, you might want to look elsewhere. Um, if it is too warm for you, there are a lot of options out there. They're going to be lighter weight. That kind of does it here for the Pins and Down Alternative Comforter. Um, if you're looking for more reviews, I would Google Mattress Clarity Reviews. We've got a long list of reviews for you.